All right, welcome back, guys. And exam has finished today, the 13th of July. So let's get into the paper. So number one, in economics, the excess of human wants over existing resources is known as, and the answer is, of course, B, scarcity. An economy is best described as, and for that answer, we have C, the utilization of resources by manufacturers to produce goods and maximize profits. E, well, not E, sorry, um, question three. Um, item three refers to the following diagram, which illustrates the production possibility frontier for an economy that is capable of producing bauxite and sugar in different combinations. Point X on the diagram above represents D, an unattainable combination. Four, an outward shift in the production possibility curve can be caused by an C, improvement in technology because Improvement in technology, remember guys, it's a, it's a determinant of supply. So yeah, it will cause a shift in the supply curve. And also um, in the production possibility curve. Because that's, yeah, that, 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 that's, that's a factor also. Economics, five economics is classified as A. The answer is A, social science. Six, which of the following actions is the least likely to be among a government's potential economic decisions regarding businesses? The answer is A, increasing retirement benefits. Item seven refers to the following information which relates to a manufacturing company. The average variable cost is, and we know total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost, and the variable cost in this case is 40,000, but they clearly didn't give us that here. So we supposed to know that. And we divide it by 100, which is the output, and we get 400, which is B. It, large firms can achieve savings in unit cost as a result of advertising and packaging. These kinds of economies of scale can be classified as C, marketing. Nine. Item nine refers to the following table, which shows units of labor and total output. How many units of labor produce the highest average product of labor? So what they're basically trying to access here is like, which unit of labor produce the highest output? So um, that, will, that will fall under labor productivity. So if we divide it, each um, total output by the unit of labor, the corresponding unit of labor, we will see that B is the answer, seven. 10, we should have fallen pairs of activities in a country falls under the tertiary sector. And we know that tertiary sectors are involved with services. So that will be A, banking and tourism. An advantage of a planned economic system is that there is usually a more um, equitable distribution of all D. 12, production can be defined as B, transformation of inputs into outputs. 13, which of the following items is not an example of a primary product? The answer is C, furniture. 14, the economic system where major economic decisions are made by private individuals and businesses is known as A, the answer is A, free market economy. A normal supply curve for farm produce will slope upwards if farmers are B, willing to produce more as price increases because the slope of the curve has everything to do with its price. Yes. 16, which are the following market supply curves, shows that price elasticity of supply is unitary. The answer is D. Item 17 refers to the following diagram. It shows the price of good X and the quantity of good X demanded. The movement of the demand curve of good X from D to D1 results from an increase in the B, income of consumers. 
Item 18 refers to the following diagram, which shows the price of an item and the quantity demanded and supplied before and after the item is subsidized. S is the supply curve before the subsidy is granted. As a result of granting of the subsidy, it is expected that the price will increase. The answer is um. The answer is a price will increase. Tell me what you think. Like, I would love to know what you guys think. Tell yeah, me in the comment section down below, so you can learn from each other. 19. A government reduces tax on the carrots. This causes the price of carrots to fall by 50%. Quantity demanded then rise by 50%. The price elasticity of demand for carrots in this case is C1. Item 20 refers to the following table, which shows the price of a product, quantity demanded, QD, and quantity supply. At which of the following prices are there strategies in the market? Then it says A. $2,000. Suppliers 21. Suppliers of manufactured goods respond faster to price change changes than suppliers of agricultural goods, mainly because B. Agricultural goods take longer to produce. 22. An increase in the price of flour is most likely to be followed by an immediate B. Falling quantity demanded of flour. 23. Price elasticity of supply refers to the response to the quantity supply to a change in A price. 24. The supply curve will shift to the left if C. The cost of production rise. 25. Which of the following market structure has the greatest control over a certain price? The answer is A. Monopoly. 26. Which of the following features is a is a characteristic of a monopoly. The answer is B, many buyers and one seller. 27, which of the following is usually a consequence of retrenchment in a country. The answer is C, the falling standard of living. Item 28 refers to the following information about the type of market structure. A young, a young, a LTD is selling a good in competition with a few other companies in, in country X. All the firms know each other's price. Before Christmas, Ayanka Ayank LTD raised the price of its good hoping to make higher profits. None of the other comp competing firms for that product raised the price. After Christmas, Ayanka, Ayanka LTD lowered the price of the same good with the hope of boosting its sales. All the, other company, all the other competing firms reduce the price of the same goods by the same margin. What type of market structure does the above scenario illustrate? The answer is C, perfect competition. 29, a poor public good can be described as B, zero price. And the last question we'll be doing for today is 30. According to economic theory, secondhand smoke, smoking cigarette is an example of a D negative externality, externality. So thank you guys for listening and look out for the next part. Um 31 to 60. That's it for me today. See you next time. <laughs>